And here we find, in its natural habitat, the mighty... Um, yeah, I suppose you want to be a grizzly bear, so... Brown bear? Anyway guys, Silver Patrolian here with another episode of Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. I have to say, getting over there to plant that, there are two ways I can see you doing it. One would be to go around with both of Banjo and Kazooie and actually plant it that way. Which would require finding a flight pad, which I know there's a flight pad in this level, but finding it would be annoying. So I'm not going to bother. Wrong button. And, um, oh yeah, there's a cannon here. Which should have spec to Mumbos? So instead, I just decided to get Banjo by himself, and I wonder if Banjo by himself can get Mumbo. Let's find out. Anyway, I'm going to do a bit of cutting here at the first part of this, because I'm sure no no one wants to see me do all of the, um, the stuff that I've already done. Uh, the rain dance, and Mumbo, and Mumbo, and yeah. Hi there, Minjo. You just got whacked. Kazooie makes a much more effective weapon than the backpack, though. Just putting that out there. Mumbo not help unless Bear and Bird both safe in school. Yeah, yeah, shut up, Mumbo. Alright, I'll see you guys when I'm doing the rain dance. In a minute. Finding this was a huge pain in my butt. And I almost died, as you can plainly see there. I hate this world. I cannot find my way around this, that damn central cavern. Even with the doors being color-coded to an extent, I get lost really easily. Anyway, there's Mr. Fit again, so why don't we go challenge him to a rematch? Because I can. Um, I'll see you guys all there. I just like taking damage and getting my butt kicked, apparently. Speak of the devil? Alright, sleep off your damage there, Banjo. Anyway, as you can see, we're back with Banjo, and we're going to head on up there so we can challenge Mr. Fit to his second event. And... Uh, I'm not going to say we're... No, we're not quite halfway done with this world. We're getting closer, though, which I'm grateful to. Uh, the sooner we can be completely done with this world, the better. Um, I can't really think of that many more other things we'd need to do, especially since we can do everything our first time here, thankfully. Of course, you'd hope for that much if it's the final world. I don't even like the music in this world that much. It's just all around a world I do not like. And up to the top, and jump off. And wrong one. Here we go. So you have a sack for all fancy little race across the thorny course? Yes, I do. Alright, it's been forever since I've done this, so I'm a little fuzzy. I'm pretty sure you need to take that shortcut. I don't know for sure, though. So what I'm going to be doing is somehow not fall into my doom. I don't know how I did that for the record. And take the shortcut and beat him very easily. I don't know if we need to take that shortcut. I really don't know. I I, I always do take it though. Must have cheated. You ain't won yet, Furball. See you around for event three. Which is where the mumbo pad is. And it is a foot race. Okay then, so now he brings us back here, and um, I think I'm going to go do that foot race. Yeah, the foot race next sounds like a good idea. And I no longer know how long this video is. I lost track with all the cutting I've been doing. I really don't know anymore. Okay, so we get Kazooie, and where's the foot race? I know where it is. Okay. And this is going to... No, wait, no, it's not going to hurt. I'm fallproof. I love that little cheat thing. Yeah. Because I just will take the falls from now on. Because I can. And over here, and bugger all. I know I shouldn't be really saying that word since I actually know what it means. Or buggery, rather, but 
yeah, same difference, really. Uh, and kill him. And I'll take it. I have no clue what exactly just happened there. And I just took a hit. Let's see, if we could find one more Cheeto... Well, uh, we're going to get one more Cheeto page by the time we're done with this world, since I'm going to be 100 percenting it, so I'll be able to get in another cheat by the time we're done here whenever that'll be I have no clue how many videos that's gonna take I would say at least two more videos I think because I can think of one two three plus this four five I can think of five more jiggies six seven We've gotten two, one. Yeah, I think I know where the rest of the jiggies are, come to think of it. That's convenient. Okay, so let's see. Can't hide from you, can I? Event three is the last one involving a sprint race to the finish line in the gold medal. Yeah, let's see how I do. And now we just got to bring out Kazooie. Three, two, one, go. I remember how this works. We have to lose to him the first time. I think. I might be proven wrong, but I'm pretty sure you are required to lose to him the first time. Which... Eh, I kind of don't like that in video games. Like, trial and error gameplay, I don't mind, but straight up you have to lose kind of annoys me. How does this work? I, we obviously need the speed shoes, but I'm trying to think of where we get them. Where do we get the speed shoes? Um, um, I, I, I got nothing. No need, yeah. Mr. Fit's still a champion. How about a rematch? No thanks. I understand. Not everyone is in good shape. Yeah, shut up, you Mr. Fit. Yeah, our... Is he an anteater or an aardvark? What the frick is the difference? I don't know these animals. I'm killing that bee. With explosives. Okay, Zubba has been killed. Um, you know, let's try this with just Kazooie. See you back here in a minute. Wait a second. I got it. I know what to do. I know what to do. Here are the speed shoes. I was messing around with them at the end of the first video here. I know what I'm supposed to do now. Okay, then we come up here, we talk to him again. So you have your running shoes on. Do you think you can beat me to the finish line in the gold medal? Yes, I do. Actually, now I don't know if we do need to fail the first time through. I really don't. Anyway, we got the running shoes on and we should move fast enough to beat him. Or we may still need Kazooie. We still may need Kazooie. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just go get Kazooie, have her lose however much Banjo weighs, and go from there. Yeah, be quiet, Mr. Fit. No, I don't want a rematch. Okay, let's get ready for... Let's see, gotta go in there. See you in a minute. Alright, yeah, I'm pretty sure Kazooie is faster with... See, so you have your running shoes on. Do you think you can beat me to the finish line in the gold medal? Yes, I do. Kazooie is much faster without Banjo holding her back. So let's see how fast we can run. And yes, I did pretty much get my butt kicked in my attempt to get these. And... Go Kazooie, you are definitely a speed demon. Victory is ours. Awesome. Okay then, cutscene time. See, I lost. Can't believe I was beaten by a bag of feathers. Take my medal, I'm off to the gym to train for next season. Uh, yeah, you go do that. We will take your jiggy. Uh, that was a pain in my butt. 
Okay then. Um, we got a bit more time. Why don't I go look around a bit? Let's see. We have three more switches we need to. Let's go up from. Uh, let's take the claw climber boots up there and glide around to see what we can find. We still have um, three. Bugger all. We still have three uh, numbers for the combination to find. I'm going to get myself killed. Let's see, three numbers for the combination to find. We have. What else? We have some notes. We have at least 25 notes, I think, to find. Um, and all this is going to be in the central cavern, my if memory serves. So let's take a look around. First person view. There's some stuff really high up there. Take to the sky. I've already been over there. Don't think I've been in that one, though. So, have I? See if I can get lower and go through it. Oh, hey, there's another. Okay, yeah. Here's an egg that we need to hatch so Banjo can get over there. That's kind of convenient that I found that. And then Banjo can make it through that, but Kazooie cannot. There's the pot of gold and the racetrack, and let's take to the sky and just look around out here a bit. Is that a castle made out of... Wait a second, wasn't Mumbo's other... Why does Mumbo have two skulls? He was in a red skull, not a blue one. Well then, on that note, I think this has been a long enough video. Probably, possibly, maybe, I don't know, I lost track. So, next time on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, I think we're going to check out what's in that other skull. I will see you guys later.